What's up YouTube? Zachary Michaels here. I'm an actor and this is An Actor Reacts. Today we'll be reacting to Freedom Rings, the 2019 single from Brandy. Let's get into it. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Freedom Rings was a standalone single from Brandy released on September 27, 2019 which was the 25th year anniversary of her self-titled debut album. I did a review of that album. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check that out. The single was her first official release on her label, Brand New Ink, and her first single since Begging and Pleading in 2016. The song peaked at number seven on the US Billboard R&B Digital Songs chart. Okay, so this one was another request, and it's Brandy, so I'm excited, and it's a recent Brandy single, so I'm even more excited. So. Let's just dive into Freedom Rings. Let's listen to Freedom Rings. Mm. Love when a track comes on strong. This one kind of funk rock. This is reminding me of so many different things that like so many elements to the song. Winehouse too. Some CeeLo, like so many good elements. I love this. I love when her vocals are a little more rough too. And this part kind of feels like just similar. Oh. Oh, wait, now I'm playing on something else. <laughs> uh, but 
that 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 the clap part reminds me of like that feels like um like old like spirituals and a lot of good elements in this song really good vocals um i i gotta gather my thoughts uh I, i'll tell you a more concentrated thought in my final thoughts okay freedom rings i i loved this one really good track so many like good things that i want to touch on um First and foremost, we're going to talk about the vocals. Brandy's voice is so, like, it's like a chameleon. Is that the right thing? Is a chameleon that something that changes? That's what I'm trying to say. Her voice is able to change so much and adapt to so many different things. Like, it's able to be so many different ways. But I think maybe the way that I prefer the most is how she sings on this kind of song. Like, when her vocals are a little more rough and gritty. Like, I love when she's, like, like on Lullaby, when she's, like, nice and light and, like, airy. Those are really good, too. But, like, when she gets into this, like, like rough vocal and it's kind of like, Rrr, I'm like, yeah. Like, that's when she really draws me in. Like, that's when I'm like, whoo. Uh, just, I loved her vocal on this song. Like, so talented. I I'm checking my notes because I had to, write down my thoughts because I had so many um yeah it just it really excites me and then the production of this song there's so many good elements like it's kind of bluesy but more current it reminds me of begging and pleading uh same kind of vocal and like that bluesy feel except definitely um like that was more of a throwback sound this one is more like current bluesy roughness to it but while still being like kind of funk and like a jazz feel i said during it kind of reminded me of like an amy winehouse even though i'm not like super familiar with amy winehouse's music but like from the songs that i've heard like that kind of updated jazz funk vocal or like a some CeeLo songs or something it like had all those elements in there but was still like still felt brandy and, and and current and like and then it had like the soulful like claps from like old like spiritual songs like earl old like church spirituals that you would sing like it had so many good elements but it didn't feel like it didn't feel like it was never throwing me off because it had so element so many elements it was more so like bringing me in and like interweaving all these things in really nicely i i really enjoyed this track um and and it still felt brandy like it like i just mentioned like 50 other people and 50 different sounds but it still felt like her and she had those runs and stuff on the, like ugh, really good track um and it's crazy to me that I haven't heard some of these songs, especially the more current ones, because they're so good. Um, and then the lyrical content, which may have been my favorite element of the song, honestly, because I feel like, like I've said before, like I love when she's talking her ish and when she's like, and confident and like, just like kind of full of herself, I, I guess. And she kind of has that vibe on this song but it's a different kind of talking your ish. It's more of like an honest ish. It's not like a, you know, I've been here since 94 running the thing. It's more so like I've been here since 94 doing my thing and y'all have put me through so much, like the industry and it could have been like about a relationship as well. Like I've been through so much in my life and I'm still here, but right now I'm trying to have to like, find my love again that and that part for me felt exclusively about like the music industry having to find her love again because like I said she's been here for a while and like I haven't even heard some of these songs and it's like she doesn't doesn't feel like she gets the respects that she deserves or and maybe she feels that way too because it really sounded like she was like going through it on this song like I gotta kind of refine my love of of all this and uh, refine like 
why I love to do this and why I'm meant to do this. And that's something that I definitely relate to, like, just in life. I feel like anybody can relate to that. Like, you love a person or a thing. Or for me, it's like acting. I love it so much. But there, I do hit those ruts where I'm like, what am I doing here? Like, what am I really, like what's what's my end goal like I, I love this but like how do I you know you go through all those thoughts or like maybe it's a relationship with you and you feel like I love this person but what are we really doing right now and you kind of have to refine that passion and that love and then as soon as you do it's like oh okay like I I, it, I may have had a momentary like lapse but I could not live without this acting I could not live without this music I could not live without this person and so it's just a really real and relatable title so she's talking her not title but uh message and she's talking her ish but it's some real ish that a lot of people can relate to and i for sure was like speak on it and we all know she definitely refound that love because b7 such a good project haven't seen that review go check it out but i i just really like this song thank y'all for recommending this one to me if she has any other songs like similar when she has the same kind of vocal i just really love when she does that i love all her vocals but i really love when she just digs deep with the vocals and like is aggressive with it that that's really when i'm like whoo go ahead um that's all i got on freedom rings though brandy killed it great song is i'm not even surprised by that anymore i'm for sure every brandy song is gonna be good um Leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have any other recommendations from Brandy or other artists. But definitely let me know if any more like Brandy with vocals like this. Um, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for stopping by. See y'all next time.